Hey guys and welcome back to another Unmentioned 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be again advancing upon our third person shooter minigame. Today's video we're going to be going over animating the enemy being damaged and dying as well. So previously we set up actually damaging and killing the enemy and today we're going to be animating this so it looks a lot better. So this shouldn't be too hard so let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So we're going to get in and as you can see I can shoot them and he's going to take damage like that continuing to take damage until they die when they do die they're going to get a death animation like that as well and they'll stay on the floor there until about 60 seconds later and then they will despawn we'll just keep them there for a little bit just to look a bit better but like i say they are going to despawn so it won't get too laggy so this is what we're going to make today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've done it so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up and create the animations so i have four animations for dying and four for taking damage which i'll leave a link to in the description down below I've just got these off of mixmo.com and then retargeted them over to my UE4 mannequin. So once you've got all of these animations imported, we're going to select them all by selecting the first one, hold down shift and selecting the last one, right click on one of them, create and create an montage and now we have animation montages for all of the animations we want. And what we're also going to do is select all of the death montages, so death 1, death 2, death 3 and death 4, select them all and you can do that by holding control while selecting them and press enter to open all of those up and you can see this is our death animation but what happens is after the animation is finished it's going to pop back up and go back into the other animations i.e just being idle which obviously we don't want to happen we just want them to lay on the floor dead so a simple way to do that is in the asset details we can search for blend and we're going to untick so set to false enable auto blend out so when we tick that when it gets to the end what's going to happen is it will just stay there in this position like so. Until we tell it to blend out, which we're not going to, it's going to stay like this. So that way it looks like they have actually died. And we're going to do that on all of them like so. So we can save, close that one, go to the next one, blend, untick it, save, and again do this for all of your death ones. And we're only doing this for the death ones, not for the taking damage ones, because for taking damage we do want it to end automatically and go back into the other animations. So that is going to be perfect like so. Now we've created and set up the animation montages for death and taking damage like that. And we also need to make sure that the enemy AI can also use animation montages because they can't by default. So let's set that up now. So what I'm going to do is open up my enemy blueprint. So for me that's going to be game files, enemy, enemy BP. And if we select the mesh, what we can do is I'm going to change the mesh to be this mannequin so for you it's probably going to be sk mannequin but for me i'm going to do it to sk mannequin so it's the same name so if you hover over it the path should be game anim starter pack ue4 mannequin mesh so using the mesh from the anim starter pack because that is the mesh which i've retargeted these animations to so the anim class under the animation blueprint is going to be the ue4 asp hero tpp animation blueprint and once you put that in hit the magnifying glass here which will take us to the animation blueprint and we can open that up by double clicking on it like this. Then we'll go to the anim graph, so you might be in the state machine, just hit anim graph up here, come out of the state machine and get a slot, default slot, which again allows the use of animation montages. And we're going to compile, save that, and now that means the enemy AI can use animation montages for when we want to, i.e. for when they're taking damage or dying or anything else that you also want to add animation montages in for. So I'm going to close that and go back to my enemy blueprint here. And again, this is the code we set up previously of damaging and killing the enemy AI. And this is what we're going to be advancing upon to animate this. So firstly, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can't continue doing this code after they've already died. So that's something we didn't set up last time. So we need to set that up now so we can't continue to shoot the enemy when they're dead on the floor. So I'm going to move out the event any damage backwards here like so. And we're going to hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting that into the event any damage, and true is going to go into the set health like so. So we can only continue this code if this condition is true. And the condition, I'm going to create a new boolean value, naming this one is dead, question mark. Connecting that under the event any damage there. So we're going to get is dead. Obviously we don't want to connect that straight into the branch, because that means if dead is true, then we can continue, which means we can only damage the enemy if they're already dead. So what we're going to do is come out of is dead and get a not boolean like so. 
and that is what's going to connect into the branch. So if is dead is not true, then we can do the rest of the code. So again, if dead is not true, we can damage and kill the enemy AI. So now let's go to the end of the code of where we are damaging and killing. So the top one here is death, the bottom one is damage. So let's do death first. I'm going to move out the destroy actor as that wants to be at the end of the code. And I'm just going to disconnect that like so. What we want to do is disable the movement first so the enemy can't keep moving while they're playing this animation. So I'm going to come out of the play sound location, which is the top one for me, and get disable movement. And it should be disable movement out of the character movement like that. So again, when we now kill the enemy, they're not going to be able to move. And we're also going to set is dead to true. So tick it because again, we've killed the enemy, they're dead, which means we can no longer do the rest of this code again. We can only do it this one time because they're now dead. And so let's go back here. Out of set is dead, what we're going to do is play anim montage. So this is how we're going to call the animation montages which we've just created for killing the enemy. And again, you saw that I had four different montages. That's just so it doesn't get too repetitive. So I can choose a random one so it looks good each time. So to choose a random one, we're going to come out of anim montage and get a select node. And what we're going to do is input as many options as we want. Now I have four animations, so I'm going to add two more pins to have four different options here. And the index is going to be a random integer. Because again, we're going to pick a random integer from 0 to 3. So 3 is the max. So it goes from 0 to 3, which will then pick one of these options to be played as this animation montage. So again, we have a 25% chance of playing one of these different montages when the enemy dies. So again, keep it nice and dynamic and different each time. So now we just need to input these animation montages. So option zero, we death one montage, nice and simple, it's at the top there. Then death two, death three, and death four. So again, it's gonna play a different montage each and every time. And that is it simply done for playing a random animation. What I'm also gonna do is after the play anim montage, I'm gonna hold down D, left click to get a delay, connecting that into play anim montage and complete it into the destroy actor there. The duration of this, I'm going to set to 60 seconds. So one minute after the enemy has died, it's going to despawn and get destroyed out of the level. So again, keep it flowing nice and efficient, but without just getting rid of them straight away, so it looks a little bit better as well. You can obviously set that to whatever you like, and you might need to decrease it for you if it gets too laggy, or you can increase it if you want, or you don't have to have it if you want to keep the enemies there forever. Again, I think after a minute, despawning them is going to work great for me. So we can compile, save. Now we've set up animating the death. We also need to animate taking damage. So let's do that under this other place and location underneath here. What I'm gonna do is select the disable movement, the play anim montage, and the delay, and also the select as well. And control C, control V to duplicate them because we're just doing pretty much the same code. So we can just copy this over and change it about to work better for what we're doing down here. So we obviously also need to move these about so it doesn't look as bad, so it's not all overlapping like this. And connect them in as well, obviously like so. So now we have this set up here. What we're going to do is obviously change these different animations here so they're not the death montages, they are now the hit montage. So hit 1, hit 2, hit 3, and hit 4. And again this is going to do the same thing of playing a random animation montage, this time for taking damage, when the enemy does take damage. And the duration of this delay is not going to be 60, it's going to be the return value of this play anim montage. Because the return value is going to output the length in seconds of that animation. So essentially this delay is going to fire off once the animation is finished. So what we want to do is hold down B, left click to get a branch, because we want to see if the enemy isn't dead. Because obviously the player could have shot the enemy again while they're doing this animation and killed them. So to make sure that the enemy isn't dead, we're going to get is dead, this boolean value here, and again get the not boolean. So if the enemy is not dead, connecting that in there, and if they're not dead, we want to make sure that they can move again. So true is set movement mode out of the character movement once again like that, and the new movement mode being walking, and false isn't going to do anything because if they are dead, perfect, we don't need to do anything else. So let's compile and save, and that should be the code done and working perfectly for us. So again, give you another quick overview. So when we do kill the enemy, we're going to stop them from moving, tell the code that the enemy is dead, play a random animation montage out of the four which we have, which you can obviously input as many as you want, 
and then a minute later we're going to despawn the enemy blueprint. But if we don't kill them, we're just damaging them, we're going to again stop them from moving, play a random animation montage for being damaged, and then once the animation is finished, if they're not dead, we're going to allow them to walk and move about again. So again, compile, save, and we can hit play to test this out. So let's get in, shoot this one, you can see they stopped moving, and they played the animation for being damaged. Let's do it again, working perfectly, and it is going to be random each time, and it's also just died there. You can see it's not moving about, or it is moving. Let's see why that's doing that. So you can see here they don't move, but they do rotate, so they're always facing the player. So I think a simple way to fix that is probably going to be here in our chase player code. What I'm going to do is again hold down B, left click to get a branch, with the condition being it's dead. False is going to go into the AI move too, so they can only move if the AI isn't dead. So let's compile, save, and test this again. I'm going to kill it. They got random animations for being damaged, and they're now dead, not moving about, and they're also not rotating. So that does work perfectly like so. So again, let's just kill the rest of them. So again, playing a random animation montage for taking damage and also playing a random one when they die as well and they're not moving about when we are killing them and also if we shoot them while they're dead on the floor they're not going to get up and take damage again like so. Now the reason they're not moving is because they're stuck kind of inside of the enemies there so what we could do as well just to again keep improving upon this is just disable the mesh's collision so the enemies and the player can walk through them perfectly afterwards. So I'm going to do that just before this delay so after the animal montage before the delay, I'm going to get the mesh and set collision enabled and have that as no collision. So that way they should just stay where they are, but we can walk through them now. It's not the mesh, it's the capsule component that we need to do that for. So capsule component, collision, kill this one very quickly and we can walk through it like so. So this does work perfect for us. We made some little adjustments at the end there. Obviously it's always good to keep improving upon your code. When you test it out like this, you'll see little bugs. Well, not necessarily bugs, but just things which you know you can improve to make the whole concept better. So I think that'll be it for the video, which we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can damage and kill the enemy AI with animations this time. And it's going to work perfectly like so. Again, we've made these adjustments. They're not moving while playing animation. It'll be random each time for what we want. And obviously when they are dead, they'll despawn after a minute, which I'll show you now as well. And we can walk through them so it's not going to get too bad or too laggy in the game as well. So again, I'll go over here. A minute after I've killed them, they should despawn, which we'll wait for. But they're all here with their different animations, just staying on the floor dead like this. So there you saw, they just despawned because it's been a minute after they died. So the other one should start despawning now as well. As you can see, they're all just popping off like that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.